At 12 years old, I started bleeding with the moon and beating up boys who dreamed of becoming astronauts. I fought with my knuckles white as stars and left bruises the shape of Salem. There were things we know by heart and things we don't. At 13, my friend Jen tried to teach me how to blow rings of smoke. I'd watch the nicotine rising from her lips like halos, but I could never make dying beautiful. The sky didn't fill with colors. The night I convinced myself veins are kite strings you can only cut free. I suppose I love this life, in spite of my clenched fist. I opened my palm and my lifelines looked like branches from an aspen tree and there were songbirds perched on the tips of my fingers and I wonder if Beethoven held his breath the first time his fingers touched the keys the same way a soldier holds his breath the first time his finger clicks the trigger. We all have different reasons for forgetting to breathe. But my lungs remember the day my mother took my hand and placed it on her belly and told me the symphony beneath was my baby sister's heart. And I knew life would tremble, like the first tear on a prison guard's hardened cheek, like a prayer on a dying man's lips, like a vet holding a full bottle of whiskey, like an empty gun in a war zone. Just take me. Just take me. Sometimes the scales themselves weigh far too much. The heaviness of forever balancing blue sky with red blood. We were all born on days when too many people died in terrible ways. But you still have to call it a birthday, y'all. You still have to fall for the prettiest girl in the playground at recess and hope she knows you can hit a baseball further than any boy in the whole third grade. And I've been running for home to the windpipe of a man who sings while his hands play washboard with a spoon on a street corner in New Orleans where every boarded up window is still painted with the words we're coming back like a promise to the ocean that we will always keep moving towards the music the way Basquiat slept in a cardboard box to be closer to the rain beauty catch me on your tongue thunder clap us open the pupils in our eyes were not born to hide beneath their desks. Tonight, lay me down to rest in the Arizona desert. Then wake me to wash the feet of pregnant women who climbed across the border with their bellies aimed towards the sun. I know a thousand things louder than a soldier's gun. I know the heartbeat of his mother. Don't cover your ears, love. Don't cover your ears, light. There is a boy writing poems in Central Park, and as he writes, he moves, and his bones become the bars of Mandela's jail cell stretching apart. And there are men playing chess in the December cold who can't tell if the breath rising from the board is the proponents of their own. And there's a woman on the stairwell of the subway swearing she can hear Niagara Falls from her rooftop in Brooklyn. And I'm remembering how Niagara Falls is a city overrun with vendors and traffic and strip malls in one incredibly brave river that makes it all worth it. Y'all, I know this world is far from perfect. I am not the type to mistake a street light for the moon. I know our wounds are deep as the Atlantic. But every ocean has a story and every story has a tide that is constantly returning to wake the songbirds in our hands, to wake the music in our bones, to place one fearless kiss on the mouth of that brave river that has to run through the center of our hearts to find its way home. Thank you so much, y'all.